My name is Amber Givens, and I'm the presiding judge of the 282nd Judicial District Court in Dallas County, Texas. I'm one of the 17 felony judges in Dallas, the second youngest in Dallas County. Tell us your, your hair story. I, I want you to take me through that journey, but I also want to start with how we were introduced, right? How I learned about you initially. Okay, so 2019. I'm presiding over the Matthews trial, and I'm not one that's huge on having a lot of cameras in the courtroom, but I knew that this story had implications on adoption laws in India and had a lot of interest in America. And so the news stations were like, Judge, can we please have cameras? And I didn't realize that we would be streaming on Facebook Live. Right, so my phone was off. Uh, I had no idea that there were all these notifications. So I, I get the, um, the verdict and I'm in chambers and my phone just starts bing, 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 all these notifications. And I'm like, I don't even DM like that. I had like 500 DMs. And I was like, what happened? And I go in and this one lady is like, I hope you know how much we love you in the virtual courtroom world. And I'm thinking, what about me? You know, I'm presiding over this major trial. How did I become a topic of conversation? And I'm scrolling and I'm getting texts from friends and they're telling me people are talking about your hair. And Tashara, when I tell you that I thought I was just coming to work like I normally do, I didn't think anything of it. And there was all this chatter about my hair. People judging me, saying that I didn't look the role, right? Judges don't look like that. Judges don't wear makeup. Judges don't have shaved sides. Judges don't wear purple lipstick. And so I decided to embrace it. You know, embrace it, have the conversation. Like, why is this a topic of conversation? When we're talking about, you know, a man's liberty, when we're talking about the loss of a young child's life, why did I become the forefront of that story? And it's because in America, we have these ideals of who you can be based on where you come from, what you look like. And so I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna hide from this. You wanna talk about it? Let's talk about it. It's so absurd to me to think that because your hair grows straight out of your head, that somehow I need to mask myself, tame something to be deemed acceptable. It's crazy. Why in the world would I subscribe to Eurocentric beauty standards? when I'm of African descent and my hair grows coily out of my head. My hair is an expression. It, it's the way I decide to express myself. And you give people, strangers who you will never meet face to face, strength to be themselves and faith that they too can be in these roles that society has deemed them less than for, right? And so that's the lesson that people are always watching. You never know who you inspire just by being your true self.